Good day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I did a thing, I'm getting some new fish. I seem to like, go in phases. I went almost 12 months without buying a fish and then, now I'm kind of, kind of caught up in this. Um, granted, the last fish we got were free, so that's not part of my addiction, is it really? You can't say no to free fish. Um, anyway, so, we're going to Morley Aquariums. Uh, I'm giving Morley Aquariums a few free trophies. Um, I was going to po post them on Facebook for free, but I figured I'll give them to the pet shop, fish shop for free, because right now in these times, we really need to support small business, because it's going to be a rough year or so for them. So, if you want some trophies, head down to um, Morley Aquariums. I'm sure he'll do a good deal um, and support them. We may or may not be going to stop at Ryan's at Kareen Pet Central. Um, but that's that's on the back burner just because I don't want to be on the road all day. Um, and I'm picking up a fish for a friend. Um, he lives in Mandra. I'm going to Morley Aquariums and the fish is up that way anyway. So I'm just doing him a favor. And then I've got a male um, Christy Eye, the Malawi Hawk in the car. I'm actually swapping it with somebody for a female because they were disappointed when they ended up with a female in their display tank. So it's kind of a win-win situation. I end up with a heavier female, a female strong colony and he gets a male. Granted, there is no other male showing color in my tank. So I am taking a slight gamble, but I've got like seven or eight of them. So the chances of not having another male is pretty low. Anyway, let's get on the road. All right, guys, so um, we're on the road. I stopped at Morley. I, I picked up some new fish. I'll show you when we get home. And I've just been to a person's house to pick up a fish from my mate, Zach. So in text message, Zach said, oh, the fish is $70. Would you be willing to do it for $60? So the guy said, yes, I can do it for $60. Um, I saw screenshots of the messages, so I knew what I was getting. I had seen a photo of the fish. He starts catching like this 40 centimeter, like Viha cross something. Like it was, it was huge. It's like the biggest American cichlid I've ever seen. Like literally the biggest I've ever seen. I was like, that's not the fish bro. And he's like, no, he said $60. This one's 60, that one's 70. And I was like, no, but you said you would do that one for 70. And the argument went on for like five minutes and then he was, I was like, well, if I go get more money out, will, will you sell that one for 70? And he goes, yes. So then I had to go to the shop, get another $10 out, which I had to get 50 out because it's like you can't get $10 out of an ATM. Go back and buy the fish. I, I really wish I could have recorded it. Like this guy was just frustrating. Um, I'm sure some of you realize how frustrating gum tree transactions can be. Um, I kind of, I'm starting to think gum tree transactions, I should wear a microphone and just do a voice recording and then maybe we could run some B-roll of just my fish and listen to the voice recording and I can show you guys how funny some of the stuff is. Like, I couldn't write this shit. Um, I always thought it was hard to sell fish on Gumtree and deal with people, but buying fish seems to be just as hard. Um, so I ended up paying full price, asking price for the fish. Zach doesn't know that yet, but I'm sure he'll be fine with it. It's 10 bucks. Um, basically, the quality of the one for 70 was like 8 out of 10 to 9 out of 10. And the one that he was trying to give me was like 2 out of 10, but it was only $10 price difference. So anyway, I've decided I'm really close to um, Kareen Pet Central. So we're actually going to stop in at Kareen and talk to Ryan. And uh, also I've got a surprise for the Patreons. So if you are a Patreon, get ready. Alright, so we're here at Kareen Pet Central. If you haven't checked it out in your local, make sure you come check it out. It's a small shop, but it's like good, a good shop. It's nice. If you go, if you go back through my videos, you'll see how nice it actually is inside. 
But anyway, I'm going to go inside and chat to him about official business, and uh, I'll see you guys after. All right, guys, we're back home. Um, let's go have a look at what fish we got. I'm just recovering a little bit in my mouth. I just ate world's hottest instant noodles. Um, with all this panic buying, I couldn't get Migor in, so I got some other brand, and it turns out to be world's hottest noodles. Um, I do all right with hot food, but they really wrote me off this time. Anyway, let's go have a look at the fish. So first up, we've got two Malawi hawk females. Um, basically, I swapped one for a male, and then I told my mate Blair, I'll give him, him a, a Strigatus male when they colour up, because the guy who gave me the Strigatus said that there's a, definitely at least two males, and I'm sure a few more males will prevail as they grow. But anyway, um, he had two girls in his display. Um, as a breeder, it's really good to work with people that have display tanks, because like it can benefit both of you so like in this case there's a 99 percent chance well actually what would it be one times it's probably like a 70 percent chance that there's an extra male in there and i just got two girls so like i'm taking a slight risk here obviously because i don't have another colored up male but I can pretty much see by the activity there already that I'm pretty sure one of them's a male. But <clears throat> we'll chuck these in. Vlog life's pretty hard, guys. One hand tasking is quite difficult. Uh, they're quite nice looking girls. They're much bigger than the ones in there, but. I'll just keep an eye on them. This one's smaller. I will keep a close eye on them because I am a bit worried about the aggression, but I think because they're female should be alright. Yeah, there's definitely a young male in there. He's like trying to show up to them. They do have a little bit of colour through them, but it's just because of what he was feeding. Um, they're definitely girls. Uh, all right, so next, this is what I actually went out to buy. It's actually neon blue Akaras. Um, we well, didn't buy them, I got them from Morley Aquarium. Shout outs to Morley Aquariums. I took a couple of trophy, ye Trophyus Yellow Nacode or Encode or whatever it is to Morley Aquariums if anybody's looking for a couple of display males. Um, where am I gonna put these Akara? I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I've got ideas, but I need to prevail the ideas yet. Oh, hey guys, I think the big peacock bass are going to breed. I don't want to go over there and interrupt them, but look at her colours. Um, if they lay, it's going to be full steam ahead. If anybody knows about peacock bass. The feeding criteria on the fry is crazy. If they do breed, I'm probably only going to keep like 20 to 30 free swimmers and give that a go before I try doing a big batch. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Where are we going to put these fish? Fish room's full, guys. And also, I don't want to put them in other tanks because I don't... I want to worm them first. Apparently, uh, blue acaras around Australia have been having a bit of a worms issue, so um, I definitely don't want to put them in a tank that, say, flows into the pond or anything. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this two and a half foot um, in a basket with the Lawanda that are in there, and I'll just take the hose out of the pond and let the hose drain onto the ground and worm this tank with the Lawanda still in there. I think I'll do that. All right, so what's gonna happen here? Now, because I got this Viha, which is, it's actually Zach's, but I've already spoke to Zach about it. He's gonna breed for classic camphor, which means I don't need to breed classic camphor here. So 
I'm going to pull the Viha that's in here out. I'm going to take this girl out. And I'm going to put him up there until Zach picks him up. Or I drop him off. I don't know yet. It's it. Dropping him off is on the cards. Um, and then once he's gone out of this tank, um, there's something else going in there. There are fish that I have in this area here. But I won't tell you just yet what we're going to try and breed. But they're in that area there. Some of you might be able to figure it out without me telling you. But it's a similar theme, but different to this, different to that pair. Alright, he's a monster. Excuse the mess. This tank needs a good vac. I just, it was all sitting underneath that, um, cave there. And then when I moved it to catch the other fish, made a mess. He's coming up. Um, he's, he's gorgeous. He was a lot darker than that. Be interesting to see what color he goes on the, in, with the blue tank. The tank that he came out of was darker. Um, I put the flower horn girl just here. It's not ideal spot, but the flower horn females seem to do really good in these baskets. The, these are just the cheap stick on side ones and I've, I've taken the the suction cups off them and glued styrofoam in them so they float. And um, I've had up to like nine centimetre female in one of these and she, she did all right. For some reason, the, f the flower horns do better in confined space than other American cichlids. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of their ancestry, who knows, but yeah. Um, and that the boys might pop a bit more with a girl, girl in the tank, a bit of estrogen in the water. He's going off up there. Um, I put the, uh, Akara here. If anybody's got adult, um, electric blue Akara in Perth, let me know. The guy that I got the Viha off had adult um, blue Akara. Um, I asked about buying them. He suggested a price. I tried to counter offer and he said no set price and I just walked out. I actually didn't even reply to him after he said no set price. I just picked up the fish and walked out. I was shaking. I was so angry. I wasn't angry that he didn't accept my counter offer. I just want to clarify that. I was angry about the previous transaction and then the fact he wouldn't lower his price from a ridiculously high price, might I add. Um, I, yeah, I just walked out. He was the rudest bloke I've ever met. Um, it was just a bad experience. I, I, I didn't want you to think that I was being a cheapskate and not buying it because he wouldn't take a counter offer. But... The whole moral of the situation and how it ended up, it, it came to that, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm uh, going to just maybe play some PlayStation because we're meant to be in isolation and I've just been out visiting people for the last bloody, I think I've been out for about four or five hours. I might go see Zach tomorrow, I don't know. Um... We're not technically in lockdown in Perth yet, so I can, but I am trying to keep away from people. When I went to Morley Aquariums, I sort of waited outside till a few people left because it was so busy in there. I was starting to stress a bit. But um, doing house calls like I have been one-on-one, -on -one, not touching the person, I don't think that's such as, as much of a risk. It's bloody more of a risk to go do your food shop. Um, that's what I'm nervous about. I don't want to do a food shop. What's the world coming to? This is actually just twisted. Like, never experienced anything like this in my life, and I doubt I ever will again. But just be safe, people. Be safe. Subscribe, like, comment, and goodbye.